time. Oh, you're not a drungo, you're a black fly catcher. I am so sorry. So they look very much like a drungo, but you see the, the eye is black and the tail looks somewhat like the tail of the drungo, but it's actually a very roundy tail. So I am terribly sorry for calling you something else. Very easy to confuse. So here's another one for the tick list. If you guys want to check it or tick it off your list, the beautiful black fly catcher. And it's slightly smaller than a drungo. And here I was, because I wasn't paying too much attention and I saw something black and then I called it a drungo because they are very common. But often this will happen where we'll think it's something because we're so used to seeing something and then when we pay attention we realize we were actually quite mistaken. Seems like there are a few birds starting to come alive all around here. There we've got, oh, that was a blue waxbill and then it seems like a golden breasted bunting down there. There we go, beautiful. Hello, can you show us your golden colors? No? I love their, their head. It almost looks like they're quite bearded, isn't it? Yep. And there we went all the way down there. And I wonder, there are lots of little birds that have been coming up and down from this knobthorn here that it's a bite fallen over. It still provides them with a safe place because it'll be harder for certain predators, for example, like, sn like snakes, to come up and give them a bit of trouble. There we go. Look at those beautiful striking colors. Oh, you are beautiful. Coming down for a drink. Ooh, very brave dipping your feet in very cold water at this time of the day, I must say. Are they brave ones, all of them around there? <laughs> David, you say this golden one is the 40th one on your bird list. Well, yeah, at least we're ticking some of the common ones that we see around here. These guys, are, they, they're around but they're not often very too easy to find because they keep moving around and they go into thick vegetation and they go in between the branches of the trees but i think for the time being we're enjoying a wonderful view of them and then obviously the males and the females oh what area that they didn't quite enjoy hey and the black fly catcher is still very happy up there oh, starting to clean its feathers it's been a lazy morning for most of these birds around here. Let's see, let's see. I'm sure there's a, there could be another different creature. Oh, the um, I think... I just No, stay there. I think if you come a bit more towards closer to us there are also some yellow fronted canaries that we were looking at because the one we were looking at that big dove that's a ring neck dove but here it's another one those little yellow ones the yellow fronted canary is very hard to spot sometimes you just see these flashes of yellow moving around so it's good that we've got them down here drinking a bit of water and just standing still because not often we'll get to see them and they tend to live in quite big flocks i think it's one to about 10 of them all around. Very beautiful, aren't they? And much, much smaller. Mita, you're eight years old and you're wondering what the first bird on my list was. Um, I don't remember, to be honest. I think... Uh, Maybe something like a drungo or one of the doves, very likely, but to, I just really don't remember. I think you start seeing them and then after a while then you start ticking them off, so I don't really know. Very likely it was one of the doves, just thinking of how common they are and, and you know, what would have caught my attention when I first arrived to South Africa. So I think maybe one of the doves, 